The story begins with an attractive young man taking a selfie. He took a lot of pictures of himself until the teacher walked behind him. The teacher pat him on the shoulder as he is still taking pictures of himself. She screamed Lee Bu Chuo, presumably that is our main protagonist's name. This gathered the class's attention to Lee Bu Chuo. The class assumed he was going to get in trouble. It turns out the teacher wanted to make Lee Bu Chuo a good example to everyone, stating that he is a top student in addition to being a good looking person too. The teacher exaggerated that Lee Bu Chuo is a living legend and that they should feel pathetic about themselves. The teacher specially mentioned Chi Xin. She is Li Bu Chuo's friend and the teacher's daughter, but she didn't learn a thing from him. Chi Xin glared at Li Bu Chuo as she gritted her teeth on a notebook. The teacher told her that she doesn't even dare to call her her daughter as she only scored 5% in mathematics. The teacher asked the students to bring out their test papers from last week and to listen to her. Except for Li Bu Chuo. The teacher asked him to keep on taking selfies saying that it's a pity he can't take much more selfies. The teacher continued with her lecture. And here, we can see an introduction to our main protagonist. Li Bu Chuo. A 17 years old high school student who is also one of the top students in the school. As Li Bu Chuo was taking selfies. A girl suddenly walked up behind him. It's Gui Xin. She asked Li Bu Chuo, how is he still number one as he is always hanging out and playing every day, rather than her. That's been studying hard, but still remains second place. Qi Xin overhears the conversation, as she then closes up on Li Bu Chuo and tells him that Gui Xin is jealous of him. Li Bu Chuo openly admits to Gui Xin that he's been copying answers all this time. Gui Xin asked how he cheated every time. Li Bu Chuo can't tell anyone about his secret. Qi Xin then interrupts, stating that Gui Xin should just give up because it is useless to persuade him to reveal his secret, since she used all her tricks up her sleeve. And even if they grew up together, he still wouldn't reveal it. Li Bu Chuo tells Gui Xin to not listen to her, as he cheats in a special way. And even if he reveals his secret, they aren't capable to do it. Gui Xin suddenly asks him to be her boyfriend, with the condition that he tells her how he cheats. Qi Xin is shocked and asked if she is actually joking, and Li Bu Chuo blushes and asked if she is for real. Gui Xin tells Li Bu Chuo that she is for real and rhetorically asked if she is worthy enough for him. Li Bu Chuo suddenly raises his hand and calls the teacher. He told the teacher Gui Xin is interrupting him from listening to the lecture. Gui Xin was shocked and confused. She was punished by carrying two water buckets in the hallway. The teacher tells everyone to pay attention as she tells everyone that no matter how you are good at studying, everyone is equally punished if they have something wrong. The teacher tells the class that she is just and fair to all. Chi Xin questioned Li Bu Chuo's sanity since he rejected the offer of the top beauty of the school, and that Chi Xin would accepted everything Gui Xin is going say if she was in his place. Li Bu Chuo did the same thing to Qi Xin, and she is also punished by the teacher to stand in the hallway carrying buckets. On his way home while riding a bike, Li Bu Chuo in her thoughts is that she absolutely would take Gui Xin as his girlfriend, but to reveal the way he cheats is out of his capabilities because he uses a special ability. Li Bu Chuo felt a bit of regret turning her down while reminiscing Gui Xin's necklace and her collar. Suddenly, a lantern appears. This lantern has teeth which it uses to bite Li Bu Chuo, causing him to fall down his bike. Li Bu Chuo surmised that this lantern is not normal, and that he is starting to feel that it is the same thing he used to cheat in exams. And then, Gui Xin appeared out of nowhere. Li Bu Chuo asked what is she doing here. She is on her way home. Gui Xin asked him what is wrong with him, and why is he sitting in the road. He reasoned that his tires got busted. Gui Xin asked how could it happen if there is not anything sharp in the road. Li Bu Chuo said it was not a sharp object that broke his tires, but a strange thing bit his tires. But it disappeared as he pointed at the direction it was supposed to be. Gui Xin asked what does he mean by bite. Li Bu Chuo accidentally slipped and said something he should not. He tried brushing it off to end the conversation. But... Gui Xin insisted that he explain. Out of desperation, he reasoned that he bit his own tires. 
This confused Gui Xin. While Li Bu Chuo is just forcing this down his throat, tears flood his eyes. He offered some tire to Gui Xin, which she refused. Li Bu Chuo vomited everything out. The lantern came back mocking him, and it turns out, the lantern is a creature called Ba Yi Wu, and it is also controlled by Gui Xin. She stated that only those who have Ba Yi Wu can see another person's Ba Yi Wu. This led to Gui Xin concluding that Li Bu Chuo also has Ba Yi Wu too. And Li Bu Chuo was using a Ba Yi Wu this whole time to cheat. So that's why he won't reveal his secret. Gui Xin is puzzled on how her Bu Yi Wu bit Li Bu Chuo, but it affected his tire instead of him. Gui Xin is interested on Li Bu Chuo's Bu Yi Wu, and stated that he should just give it to her, and threatens him to die. Gui Xin introduces her Ba Yi Wu called Hungry Eyes. Its capabilities are quick and silent. It also navigates people through their breathing and kills them by swallowing them whole. Gui Xin is curious on what Li Bu Chuo's Bu Yi Wu's power is, and assumed that Li Bu Chuo doesn't want to use its power. Li Bu Chuo runs for his life as he is about to be eaten by hungry eyes. Gui Xin assumes that his Ba Yi Wu is only for cheating, and questions if it has the capabilities of enhanced vision, or makes things like textbooks invisible for only him to see. As Li Bu Chuo is about to be eaten and get his Ba Yi Wu stolen by Gui Xin, Li Bu Chuo reveals his Ba Yi Wu called Liar that unleashes from his left hand, a set of needle and thread. The needle plunges towards Gui Xin and pierces her jacket. As Li Bu Chuo has been chomped by hungry eyes, Gui Xin uniforms get shredded to pieces. Li Bu Chuo explains its power. As long as the needle pierces anything, every damage from the user will just be transferred to whatever the needle pierces. Li Bu Chuo only pierced Gui Xin's jacket as he doesn't want to kill her. Li Bu Chuo asks if this power is what they call a Ba Yi Wu, as he doesn't know what kind of power a Ba Yi Wu is. His power of a set of needle and thread is called liar. Li Bu Chuo explains how he goes unscathed from the first attack. He merely pierced the tire to transfer the damage. And as for the cheating, he pierced his textbooks with his needle to transfer the contents to his brain. Li Bu Chuo believes there's no point in continuing on fighting, because he doesn't want to hurt her any further, as Gui Xin failed to kill him. But Li Bu Chuo believe it isn't over yet. Since Gui Xin already knows how he cheats on exams, Gui Xin tells him that he should dream on and that she'll never be his girlfriend. Li Bu Chuo replied that he'll never get it on with as someone as ugly as her. What he actually want is she should tell him what these Ba Yi Wu are and where they came from. Gui Xin shockingly reacted to the fact that he thinks that she's ugly for him. Li Bu Chuo asks Gui Xin on what exactly is a Ba Yi Wu as she mentioned. Gui Xin answers Li Bu Chuo while coughing blood and blood bursting from her body. Li Bu Chuo is shocked that she's coughing so much blood and that he should send her to the hospital or use his needle and thread to fix her. Gui Xin refuses as she is fine because it's just skin deep and that he should stay away from her. Gui Xin told Li Bu Chuo he wasn't joking and asked on how he exactly got his power of needle and thread. They both went to a convenience store. Gui Xin looks at Li Bu Chuo as he is rapidly munching on a snack. Gui Xin tells him that he has quite an appetite. Gui Xin now proceeds to tell Li Bu Chuo that before she tells him about what Ba Yi Wu are, she needs to understand how Li Bu Chuo got the needle and thread. Li Bu Chuo then asks her if she could eat her snack. Gui Xin tells him to that he can have it. Li Bu Chuo now proceeds to tell her how he got the power. Li Bu Chuo got the needle and thread when he was five years old, and that it came out of his hand. The power appeared during his parents' funeral. Li Bu Chuo was in shock then because no one can see the needle and thread on his hand. He was almost got sent to a mental hospital. And so Ba Yi Wu is a power that other normal people don't see. Li Bu Chuo now asks her on what exactly are these powers. What exactly is a Ba Yi Wu, and why does she want to snatch his powers? Gui Xin was confused because it is the first time that she heard of a person getting a Ba Yi Wu that way, and proceeds to ask if she was wrong, 
or is that power really is a ba yi wu? Gui Xin explains that her ba yi wu hungry eyes was rented. Gui Xin got her ba yi wu last Wednesday from a person called Mr. Ding. Li Bu Chuo questions the value of a ba yi wu and thought that they are precious toys. Gui Xin answers that they aren't exactly like that. No one seems to know exactly how many Ba Yi Wu are there and where they came from. Ba Yi Wu are everywhere because they are being given from around the city. Ba Yi Wu can become any type of objects, an empty can, an old shoe, or a fire hydrant. And it could be something that is larger than normal, and that every Ba Yi Wu has their own sets of abilities but they want similarity, and that is normal people or non ba -yi wu users cannot see them, and only ba -yi wu users can see one of its kind, and that is why Gui Xin came to the conclusion that Li Bu Chuo power is in fact a ba -yi wu. Gui Xin explains that there are two ways to obtain a ba -yi wu. One is for ba -yi wu to come to you, and they will come to individuals that they take interest in. But Gui Xin has never heard of Ba Yi Wu that manifests from their own body. And for the second one is that people like Gui Xin that had never got visited by a Ba Yi Wu will rent one. The one that provides Ba Yi Wu is Mr. Ding. He possesses a lot of Ba Yi Wu and that people look for him to rent one. Since Mr. Ding has the capability to make people to listen to him, and no one has ever seen Mr. Ding's face as he always hides in the shadows. Li Bu Chuo asks if there's a rent. There must be payment. And assumes the payment is expensive. Gui Xin answers that the rental is indeed expensive, but it is not paid by money. And that everyone can only rent one Ba Yi Wu for a year. And the payment is to find a Ba Yi Wu and giving it to Mr. Ding. Mr. Ding never asks reasons for renting one. And as long as Mr. Ding gets his payment of to Ba Yi Wu, then there's no problem. There's a title called for people that rents Ba Yi Wu, and they are one that they call tenants. Li Bu Chuo asks what would happen if she couldn't meet his conditions. Gui Xin says that she'll die, and it is useless to call the authorities, because no one will believe a Ba Yi Wu killed them. Since normal people can't see them, Gui Xin reassures him that it is still early for her, and that there are ways to get one, and that he should worry about himself since there's more tenants coming for him. Li Bu Chuo is puzzled on why would they be hunting him since his Ba Yi Wu is not rented or was founded. It manifested. And normal Ba Yi Wu shouldn't occur like that. And if it isn't a Ba Yi Wu, even if they had managed to steal it from him, it would be useless to them. She didn't mention a Ba Yi Wu wouldn't manifest from their bodies. She merely said that they don't usually manifest from those cases. And tenants wouldn't care as they would take it whatever it takes. After arriving home, Li Bu Chuo head to his bed. But he didn't sleep last night. It was already morning. Li Bu Chuo doesn't know what to do. He thought that insomnia is normal if you got financial problems or people trying to kill you. Li Bu Chuo blames Gui Xin for the insomnia. Gui Xin advises Li Bu Chuo to lay low and avoid using his power much. Li Bu Chuo thinks that not using it is no different from being taken from you by tenants. Li Bu Chuo tells his aunt that he's headed for school. As Li Bu Chuo heads out from the door, he encounters his friend Qi Xin suddenly appearing in front of him and got surprised from her face. Qi Xin tells him that he looks energetic today, meanwhile for her, she was forced to finish her homework all night. That's why she looked pale. As they were headed towards to school, Qi Xin asked what was Li Bu Chuo's plan and suggests that he should reply to Gui Xin today. Li Bu Chuo tells her what reply is she talking about. Qi Xin tells him that he's a dumbass and obviously the answer to his secret on cheating. She mentions that Qi Xin mentions the offer of Gui Xin and that tells him he should think twice about it. He tells her that why would she be concerned about it. She is just curious about it and tells him that he should just tell her about it. He tells her that the deed was already done, since it was his first time and Gui Xin was relaxed that night. He was with her all night, and that was the reason he couldn't sleep. Qi Xin thinks of something dirty what he just said. The words done, first time, entire night, doing this, didn't sleep. Li Bu Chuo asks why is she looking at him like that. 
She immediately kicks him and tells him to die. She can't believe that his friend is something like that, and that she's going to snitch on that teacher, a K.A., her mother, and will make the world know what kind of man Lee Buchuo is. He tells her that kicking was dangerous, and tells her that what the hell was she talking about. Li Bu Chuo chases after her asking to wait for him, and what did he say wrong? Qi Xin gives him the finger, and told him that he stay away from her screaming sex maniac at him. He asks what did he wrong, and that she's misunderstanding it. She then tells him that he was with Gui Xin the entire night, because of that he didn't sleep. That's what exactly Li Bu Chuo said. He tells her that he didn't meant that kind of thing. As he was about to continue of what he is saying, he then got repelled backwards. Qi Xin was confused. As Li Bu Chuo is being repelled backwards on the middle of the road, he panics and thinks that that is he flying as if there was a force pulling him. Li Bu Chuo then hits his head on a baller. He thought he was being pulled forward but actually backwards. He concluded that the force that is making him fly was gravity, and he was actually falling parallel to the road, and the gravity shift is only happening to him, and if it goes any further, he'll crash into the building. Will he survive? Is this the work of a Baiwu? Find out next time. Thanks for staying in tune with our manga recap. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more updates from our content.